A legislative auditor is weighing in on New Orleans property tax assessments. Overall, the auditor says the assessments were done correctly, except for one method that is not supposed to be used. WGNO's Rick Gogrieve is here to explain it. Rick. Susie, it's called sales chasing, basing a home's property taxes on recent sales that may reflect an unrealistically high home value. Orleans Parish tax assessor Errol Williams denies doing it. The Louisiana Legislative Auditor recently reviewed the Orleans Parish Tax Assessor's Office and this year's reassessments. According to Assessor Errol Williams, the report is fairly positive. My values are below what the average price is being, based upon the realtors, what the average price is being paid by realtors. I think they came up with a value of 340000 per house. And we, we're somewhere in maybe the 285 to 290 range. Some disagree with the findings, such as Councilwoman Helena Moreno, who say the auditor's report indicates Williams is sales chasing, which is prohibited by the Louisiana Tax Commission that bases assessments solely on recent sales. Williams, however, denies this claim. The assessor doesn't use just the sale price. Okay, to determine a fair market value of property. We have a sales validation section who goes through each sale. The intent is to determine what or not that sale represents what the market is in that respective neighborhood. Moreno says the report points out that nearly 4,000 houses assessed values were about 13 percent higher than those of similar properties where recent sales were not taken into consideration, equating to over $600 in extra taxes per house. In Moreno's news release, she says, quote, I will be requesting that the Orleans Paris assessor review potentially sales chase properties identified by the Louisiana legislative auditor and move through the change order process at the Louisiana Tax Commission to rectify these issues for these homeowners who are paying more than they should. However, Williams doesn't plan on budging. I've heard some rumors about what she said I should do, but I'm going to comply with the constitutional requirements of the office and not necessarily what a city councilman or legislator may want at this particular point in time. We reached out to Councilwoman Helena Moreno as well for further comment on this issue, but have not gotten a response at this time.